Good morning, little ones. I have another story for you. This is the story of the Root Children by Sybil Vaughn Olfers. And this is a story that I would be reading around this time because all of our bulbs are up and things are coming back to life and waking up. And I bet you can find that sort of thing happening in your yard. So here we go. The Root Children. Under the ground, deep in the earth, among the roots of the trees, the little root children were fast asleep all winter long. They didn't feel the biting wind, the cold snow, or the stinging hailstorms. They slept peacefully in their warm burrows. They were dreaming wonderful dreams of the sunshine in which they had played all through the summer. When at last winter came to an end and the sun began to melt the snow, Mother Earth came along with her candle to wake them up. Wake up, children, she called kindly. Time to get up now. You've slept long enough. Spring is coming and there's work to be done. I brought you scissors, needles, and thread and pieces of cloth so that you can all make new clothes. Wake up. As soon as you're ready, I'll unlock and open up the doors to the ground. The children yawned and stretched, and then they jumped up merrily. Hurrah! Spring is coming! Mother Earth had pieces of lovely colored cloth in her basket. Each of the root children chose their own colored cloth to make a dress. The snowdrop chose a snow white cloth, the forget-me-not a sky blue piece, the buttercup bright yellow, the daisy white with yellow and a bit of red, and the poppy a bright red. Then they sat down in a cozy circle and began to work busily. They cut, sewed, and pressed until everything fitted perfectly. And as they worked, they all sang the spring songs that they knew. As soon as they had finished making their new dresses, they went up to Mother Earth in a long procession. Do you know what a procession is? It's like a parade or a line. Mother Earth looked over her glasses in surprise when she saw all the root children coming so soon. Well, well, you have been quick, she exclaimed. And how nice it all looks. Even the little ants who had been busy helping Mother Earth to wind up her wool, came in to look inquisitively. They had never seen such splendid clothes. Do you know what inquisitively look means? It's a word that means you ask a lot of questions and you're curious. It's a good thing to be inquisitive. But there was still more work to be done. The ladybugs, beetles, the grubs and bumblebees had also been sleeping under the ground and had now woken up. They had to be washed and brushed and painted colorfully and made to shine so that they would look as beautiful as possible. What a hustle and bustle was going on down there. Up above the ground, the warm sun was already bringing out the new green leaves on the trees. Would the root children be ready in time? I like this page. At last, it was springtime. Mother Earth opened up the door and out into the warm sunshine came a procession of beetles, ladybirds, and root children. What a beautiful parade. In the wood, the butterflies fluttered happily around the flowers. 
The lilies of the valley found a cool spot in the shade of the trees beside the blue violet and let their flower bells tinkle. Old Father Slifslaff Silverback came slowly creeping along. Aha! There you all are. Welcome to the big forest, he said to the children. The little violet looked at him shyly from her safe place behind her tree. She had never seen a creature like him before. Have you ever seen a creature like that? Summer came. In the little brook that flowed between the meadows, the water lily floated on the water like a princess. The reeds whispered in the wind. The forget-me-nots came and stepped carefully into the water. But the water beetles grumbled. It's getting crowded here. Go and play somewhere else. In the flower meadows, the root children were having lots of fun. They danced lightly in the warm sunshine. Hop and skip, woo! If only it could always be summer. The butterflies fluttered above them, and in the, even the beetles had a little dance. The crickets chirped, and the bees buzzed, making wonderful music together. Careful, little grass, don't fall over. Of course, summer came to an end. The sharp autumn wind whirled brightly colored leaves through the air and tugged at the root children's clothes. Ooh, called the wind. Hurry home, it's getting cold. It's time for bed. So they all went back underground in a long procession. Mother Earth was standing by the door and hugged each child one by one. Come in, children, she said. And you too, beetles and bees. It's warm and cozy in here, and I've got something for you to eat and drink. After that, it's time for sleep, until I wake you up again in the springtime. And all the little root children went down under the ground to start their long winter sleep. The end. This is the lady who wrote the book. This book was written over a hundred years ago and these are some of the other stories that she has written and we read some of them at preschool so some of you might recognize them. Thanks so much for listening to the story this morning you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and I really hope that I get to see you soon. If you are getting kits and you come to the house, make sure you knock on the door and come give a wave. I love seeing your little faces and seeing how much you've grown. You may not think so, but in the few weeks since I've seen you, you have all grown so much. And it's just really lovely to share this part of your life with you. So enjoy this beautiful day and I'll see you very soon. Bye.